first of all, what was your reaction when you got invited to this game, to the McDonald's All American game? Uh, I mean a lot. Um, it means a lot of people noticing my game, and that means that I'm. Oh, that means that I'm like one of the top talents in the class. So I really thank people for that. And it was just a blessing from God. And it's like I always watch the game on TV. I never really thought I would be in it. It seems like you know you weren't one of the guys that was anointed as you know McDonald's All American two or three years ago. Um, you know, you worked your way to the status. Um, you know, what, what has that process been like for you? Uh, it took a lot of hard work and a lot of hours in the gym, a lot of hours in the weight room, and um, just a lot of focusing down and working on my weaknesses and like just looking at tapes and saying what I could do better and how I could like build my game up to please the people that were scouting. How are you? You know, what was the key? You know, a year ago, did you, you know, did you fill out physically? Was it a matter of getting more exposure? Was it a part of your game that improved? Um, I I would say it was my confidence because right when I started playing, um, like my freshman year, I didn't really have much confidence. But once it started to grow, like I started to do more things that I never really done. So I just got out of my comfort zone and started to play ball. How would you describe your game to people who have never seen you play? What kind of player are you? Uh, I'm a team player. Um, I, I and I can score. Like I can, I just like playing in the team aspect and like everybody doing good. That just makes me feel better and gets me pumped up. But I can also like play outside and end on the inside. I can bang with pretty much anybody that I want to. One of the things that stood out to me over the last few days of practice was your energy level. You know, I mean, you. It, it seems like you were one of the few guys here that really kind of had something to prove still. Where does that come from for you, and do you feel like that's an accurate description? Yeah, it does. Um, a lot of when I was growing, when I started playing basketball, like my freshman year, a lot of people, um, scouts and reporters started to say I didn't have a motor. Well, they said I had a motor, but it didn't last long. So I was just like keep up the energy all game and make sure that like they see that I, I'm really trying out there and that I'm really pushing myself to my limits. What kind of shooter are you right now, and, and how is that part of your game evolved over time? Uh, I say. I'm I'm an okay shooter. I can be inconsistent a while, but I'm working on it and like working on better releases and making sure that I become more consistent and starting to hit more jump shots. Any thoughts on the way that you know the big man position is evolving in basketball and, and how do you see yourself fitting in and what do you still need to improve on to really you know uh, fit into that new style? Oh, uh, it's amazing. A lot of big men are starting to come out like they're starting to be able to shoot, dribble, like like an Anthony Davis type player. But then me just pretty much I gotta evolve my game. But um I'm just trying to like do my best and like I'm still working on like trying to be like a better ball handler and coming off the dribble and open and creating myself for more open shots. What was it about Maryland that you know made you wanna come there? Uh it, it was a hometown school. They got my former teammate there on myself and we had pretty much had a tight bond and it was like I always thought about wanting to play with him in college, so it was like once he came into Maryland it was like, Oh, this can actually happen so and pretty much it was just less less stress on my parents with the traveling. They can like come there instead of having to travel like maybe two or three hours or just staying home and watching it on TV. Any guys that you really enjoy watching in college or in the NBA? Um, like um, I enjoy watching Anthony Davis because I pretty much try to model my game after him. And in college, I like watching um, who who was his name? Uh I forgot his name. Oh. Mikael Bridges from Villanova, I like like his game too. Like he's a long, long player, and um, he's pretty much doing whatever he can to help his team win. What's the process going to look like for you in terms of filling out your body? Um, you know, specifically your lower body. Do you have a plan that you know? Is there? Are you just going to kind of let it come in time? Is it going to be you know three or four years for you, or do you, you think you have a lot of work to do in the weight room? How do you kind of find that balance between? And not getting too big, kind of too fast, not losing your athleticism, but still maybe having the strength to hold your own against college players. Yeah, um, um, I'm gonna start working out, lifting with Maryland late. I'm um, coming up because um, the coaches said they're gonna start working on my upper body and put more weight on me, so that I'm still able to do what I can do. But over the past few months, I've been starting to fill out a lot more. I've been starting to gain a lot more weight, and um, I'm just making sure that I stay on my daily regimen of lifting and eating right. Cool, man. Great stuff. Thank you so much. Thank you.